Hello and welcome to this video. This is kind of an unusual video. I haven't done one of those videos in pretty much forever. But I think this is an important one. I'm going to talk about how to get better results in Weekend League. Not from a gameplay standpoint, not how to get a better scheme because I'm doing a lot of those videos and I'm going to continue to do a lot of these videos. But this is more kind of like mental, how to make it easier for yourself to get through those 20, 25 games and not be uh, frustrated so you don't want to play the game anymore. It's not easy. That is one thing that I, have, I will say. It's not easy to play all, all 25 games, but I'm planning on making it, it easier for you guys after watching this video. Before getting into it, please subscribe to the channel and drop a like on the video. If you feel like this is something that can help you or if you think that my videos are, are something that will help you in the future. Also, I got a couple of announcements to make. There were some interesting games. I'll show them uh, kind of like in the background while I'm talking. I'm not really talking about the games in this video. More so about my tips on how to finish Weekend League. But if you wa guys want to know what's kind of like going to happen this week, I'm going to break down a scheme from one of the games that I played that was really interesting out of iPhone Tide, which is one of the formations that in that's in pretty much any playbook. So this is going to be very apl applicable to you guys. And yeah, this is going to come this week. Also going to do the second part of the, pa uh, the Panthers, not the, pa the Panthers, the Patriots offensive ebook, which will come out uh, over the next coming weeks. I'm planning on finishing it in about... I don't know, maybe two or three weeks. So be ready for that. Subscribe to the channel. For you guys, some guys have been asking how to get the written down version of the Panthers offense. Just follow my Twitch and whisper me over there. Then I'll send it over to you. So that should be good. It's going to be a Google document. we will get the link and it should be good to go. And let's now get into, get into those tips and just go through them one by one. The first most important tip, in my opinion, is to space the games out across the entire weekend. You have three days. So you have three days for 25 games. That's about eight, eight games a, a day. Uh, averaged out so you have time you have time you shouldn't finish them all at once because that's just that's just bad you'll get frustrated playing all the games at once it's just tiring so I had to do it this weekend actually to talk about why am I qualified to give some tips because I was doing pretty bad in weekend league I was getting about 16 wins pretty much every weekend that's not something that I'm happy with and then I kind of like focused on what can I do to get better and I did some of those techniques and they worked for me. So, might be luck. I got 20 wins this week. Actually, I got 19 wins, but one guy DC'd me after I won the game and I got DC glitched. Or not DC glitched. I disconnected uh, from one game where I was 10 0 up at the end of the fourth quarter. So, that just happened. Basically, I got two wins taken away from me, but still finished with 19 wins. And that is a big improvement and you might say that's random, but I will say that these tips have helped me out a lot. So spacing the games out is very important. I was not able to do that uh, because I, my internet was bugging and I had to finish them all in one day pretty much. Did that, got 19 wins. But if you can, take time. You also have time to do stuff with your friends. That's also very important. Like don't spend the whole weekend playing man. Like don't, it's just, it's not healthy for you. It's also not healthy for your social life. So please. Take time, talk to some friends, and don't play Madden for the entire weekend, and don't play them uh, all straight. The next tip is find out how to regulate your emotions. Now, this is something that some of my subscribers who are athletes who play me basketball, football, or something like that can kind of relate to. It's important to regulate your emotions. Uh, how can you do that? You have to kind of find out what works for yourself. It, it's important to know how to calm yourself down, how to get more focused, to get your energy up and just in general be aware of how you're feeling emotionally it is important to have habits that work for you You have to train uh, for them to work you have to practice all right this is what i'm gonna do when i'm feeling annoyed this is what i'm gonna do when i kind of feel uh, tired and i'm not feeling as sharp you have to kind of figure this out by yourself one of the things that i generally do is when i'm frustrated i just get the headphones out my ear i just lean back and i just close my eyes and i just pretend like i'm sleeping pretty much and i'll just breathe heavily i'll just breathe out all the anger that's one of the things that i regularly do also another thing to get more focused is like i do one of those and then i'm ready again so you kind of have to figure out what works for you this is kind of like mental training also you guys that play sports and haven't done a lot of this training this is also going to be applicable for let's say a tennis match for example you have to kind of regulate your emotions during sports and this can also help you with that so I, there you go got some universally ap applicable tips right here you should definitely subscribe <laughs> but most important thing control your emotions know when you feel annoyed 
and another thing is after a game where you feel like you've been cheated you can frustrate you should not play the next game right away just take time you should take time you have enough time once again we have three days for 25 games that's more than enough time if you want to space it out properly which you can't space it out properly most important thing stop playing the game take 10 minutes time definitely have the time for that go on youtube watch some of my videos maybe but also just listen to music do whatever calms you down that is one thing that is also important know what calms you down if you have time it's important to have techniques to calm you down when you're in a stress situation where you can't take time really which is a game kind of have some methods that calm you down quickly in the game but also know some activities you can do after a frustrating game when you have like 10 to 15 minutes to spare if you want to take a walk if you want to just get out and breathe some fresh air all that stuff is good just find out what calms you down that's the most important thing because a lot of people are really good they're good players but they only get 16 wins they have a good scheme they know what they're supposed to do but they just get tilted uh just don't get tilted and regulate your emotions that those are the two most important things for finishing well because i can win games against top 100 uh, opponents i definitely can it's just whether I have the whether I have the mental toughness to grind out an entire weekend and always play that level. So that's something that is gonna make be a big step up for you if you can do that. Those are the two most important things. Space the games out, take your time, and also know how to regulate your emotions. Next thing is keep reminding yourself of the situation you're in the game. Consciously look at the clock. Know where you're at on the field kind of figure out what your opponent is doing just staying in the moment don't think about previous games that's also very applicable to sports if you play football don't think about the last play think about the play that's uh, ahead think about the next play you have to make so that is one thing that is very important because a lot of times you get confused because you play a lot of games you have a lot of situations you don't really know what's going on in the game so consciously remind yourself of the situation you're in the game and of the clock where the ball is spotted all those kinds of things the next thing is to think what should i be doing now this sounds really stupid but a lot of people at the end of the half when they're up seven points they get the ball in the second half they feel like they still want to score and then they throw a turnover and give up maybe three or seven points just before the end of the half be smart know the situation you have in the game if you're up seven points in the third quarter you have the ball, you have the whole length of the field uh, to go. You want to take time, you don't want to score. So be aware of the situation, that's another thing that ties in neatly uh, with the previous point. But just play smart. Think about what your opponent doesn't want, want you to do. If my opponent is down 7 points, he wants me to, to go for big plays, he wants me to take up as little time as possible, so I'm gonna run the ball. That's just something to keep in mind. Remind yourself of the situation that's, that you're in the game. And then think about what does my opponent want me not to do. And then I'm going to do that exact same thing. Now, please, if you feel tired after a game, that's kind of similar to the frustrating point. If you feel frustrated after a game, take time. If you feel tired after a game, take time. And whether that means not playing for the rest of the day, that's fine. If you don't want to finish weekend league because you feel tired, that's better. It's better for your mental health. Please don't finish it if you're tired. Also, you'll play worse if you're tired. So if... You still have some games to go and you still have a whole day tomorrow then don't finish those games or don't play any games after you feel tired if you feel a little bit tired then you kind of can work through it but under at all costs avoid playing games when you're tired that's the that's probably the second most important thing because when you feel when you're tired first of all you play worse second of all you have a you'll have a worse experience and that's just not worth it it's weekend league you it's not that big a deal. You get 20,000 coins more or less. Just be smart, guys. Don't don't waste your don't uh, blow out your mind playing weekend league for a weekend because you have another you have a tough grinding week with school and, jo and job ahead of you. So be smart with that. That's something I have to remind myself continuously. It's a game at the end of the day. If I feel too frustrated, then I'm gonna just turn it off. I'll work on some YouTube stuff. That's always fun for me. So. Just turn to happier activities if you feel frustrated, if you feel tired. Just take time away from the game and really just consciously remind yourself of the fact that it's just a game. 
If you want to get better with schemes, I'll, of course, subscribe to the channel. I'll drop some future uh, offenses and defenses. I th I'm thinking about dropping my defense because the defense is kind of like the thing that propelled me to get some more wins this week. I'll do I'll do a defensive uh, tip next uh, next week or this week. I don't know about the big nickel formation. That's a formation that I run pretty much to stop everything, to stop the run, to stop the pass. It is really good. It is a very balanced formation. You can kind of stop both. So that's what I would recommend you guys to be ready for because defense is pretty difficult this year. But I kind of figured out what I want to do on defense. I want to share it share it with you guys. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a like if you feel like you have a friend who wants to get better with Madden and my videos can help them. Then please recommend you recommend me. Always want the mouth-to-mouth uh, -mouth recommendation. That's how use how commercials used to work. Just recommendations. So please recommend it to, recommend it to a friend if you feel like they might profit. Appreciate you taking the time. Support me by subscribing and see you in the next video. Also, this eye tight formation that or this eye tight scheme that I went against, it's pretty tough. Drop that this week or next week. A lot of content coming. Be excited for it. See you in the next video. Peace out.